Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up uh, in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading, click on that. Uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, guys, just please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And uh, of course, you use this, just use this as a guide. Whoops. There we go. Let the cards fall where they may. Everything happens for a reason. Give me one second. And of course, like I said, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality as you can see i've not laid out all the cards guys because i'm just holding back on the extended reading it's part two for now just so i can do some tweaks to the website so just bear with me uh, so let me just take that in take this in and i'll be back So Taurus, let's start your reading one second. Perfect. Let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. And um, of course, if this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other monthly reading for your sign, Taurus, which should be pinned in the corner. Um, so yeah, so let's start your reading. So I like to start at the past just to kind of get an idea of where we're coming from. So there was, um, or there's been some, a, a strong emotional connection that's been formed here between the both of you represented by the two of cups, uh, Taurus, you and this person, whoever this person is showing up. So there's someone that you have a, a strong emotional connection, um, with, but it seemed like, and again, this is the past. It seemed like this person couldn't act on it. So they was forced to put up their boundaries or be slightly guarded. So like maybe you could have felt that as well, hence your response to that. But definitely a, a, a guardedness or a, a, a barriers, like kind of holding up their boundaries, still giving, still being able to maybe, you know, give slightly, give in small tokens of appreciation, uh, communication, uh, offerings, but nothing full on. As much as there is that has been formed, I feel like it's to do with what they've got going on, which is this three of cups up here. But in the past, it seemed like you was unaware of why this person maybe was acting a bit distant or, you know, kind of became, I don't want to use the word cold, but yeah, could come off as, as cold for some of you. And that started to make you think, about just what's not going right in terms of this connection. So there was a lack of clarity around that. In the past, you wasn't aware of what was going on with this person. Why is this person, you know, feeling what I'm feeling? Of course they do, but they're not moving on it. They're not acting on it in the way that I would expect or the way that they should. I do apologize if you can hear my Jack Chi doing what they do or doing what he does. <laughs> One second. Um, yeah, do you see that? We've got the hangman there. So they couldn't move or act on that. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. It's not, I mean, we've got the four of coins. So this is not really giving much of anything. So again, we're going back to what this person can offer simply because of how they're showing up. They're showing up as the three of cups. So this person has got someone else or they're engaging with someone else or some form of relationship has been formed with someone else but like in the past you wasn't aware of that uh for a lot of for a lot of you you're now aware of it because of how you're showing up 
Um, but for some of you, you might not be aware of it, but that's the reason as to why they're not able to act on it as much as they do feel this with you. You are right if you're picking up on that and they haven't expressed it. But you're, you're, you're kind of like showing up as the six. So it's like, I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm not gonna, um, hang around for this. If this person can't give me what it is that I want, then what's the point? So I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move ahead. I'm going to try and move on from this. I feel like, you know, for you, it's a case of really making an effort to overcome or come out on top when it comes to your emotions and your thinking regarding this person, because I feel like, and we've got the, the four of cups in your, in your challenge position. And with this deck, and it's interesting because we've got two different decks here, but we have the same thing, four of cups. So in this deck, you're, I kind of always interpret this or feel from this as the person focusing on the spilt cups, but with this deck. This is more about focusing on uh, the positive aspect of this or of something. And that's what your challenge is. I always kind of see this as drinking the Kool-Aid. The person's kind of drunk the Kool-Aid. They've gotten caught up emotionally. Um, they've opened their self up. So it seems like you opened yourself up naturally. Naturally. I mean, you've met someone, you, you, you feel this, you've developed that with them and you're going to you know, open yourself up and kind of go with the flow, especially if you've been told, and this is just for some of you, if you've been told that, you know, they're not dating anyone or anything like that, then, you know, why not move with what it is that you're feeling? But that's the challenge. The challenge is, is you, you, you've opened yourself up and this person can't act on what it is that, you know, you would like, which is ultimately to move this, move ahead with, with, with this. Like I said, your person is showing up as the free, so that's kind of self-explanatory. But what they're thinking is quite interesting, Taurus. What they're thinking is quite interesting. They're, they're thinking about moving in a new direction or moving in a direction with you, with the pentacles. <laughs> yeah, being sneaky about it too. There you go. I say quite interesting because that's exactly what I was picking up is this sneaky energy. So as much as this person as someone else or is speaking to someone else to some degree there's a third energy here they're still thinking about moving down or you know engaging with you but behind this person's back or doing it behind the scenes with the seven of swords seven of swords is a very sneak energy here because their challenge is the empress they can't birth something with you they can't give you and just based on this spread at the moment <clears throat> they can't give you that that's their challenge so what is it that this person is expecting from you what do you mean? <clears throat> I do apologize. I feel like you're not wrong, Taurus. You're not wrong for... Yeah, they're, they're looking, <laughs> looking to bypass that. Um, you're not wrong in terms of trying to move on from this person, simply because they're just not in a space to be able to give you what it is that you want, which I feel like it's an exclusive long-term relationship. This person is engaging in something, but they're still wanting to engage with you in some way. But I feel like they're wanting some form of C because we are looking at they wanting a solution and they're wanting to take a risk on this. A risk on this for what reason? To go where? That's that's really the question. What is this person wanting to take a risk? Why is it where are they looking to go? What's the intention behind this risk? Is it a friends with benefit type of situation? Is it a casual, you know, is it an affair? Is it what are we doing here? Because I don't feel like that's not what, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Do you see that? We've got the two of cups again. So there is that has already been developed. You're wanting something long-term, you know, we've got the six there. You're wanting something long-term. You're wanting something exclusive, you know, and you're wanting to come to some form of decision. Yeah. Which is going to, just change things. We've got the death card. We've got the sun card. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So this speaks about you kind of, you know, putting something. We've got the 10. That re that represents, if I can speak. That represents an ending. Um, but also the death card that represents something dying. And, and then what comes after death, a rebirth. So that represents transformation. Decision around 
transformation and end into something in order for you to have some form of positive impact. Well, this was the idea that you had around this to begin with, but you have to put an end to that. And that's what that's representing. Yeah. I want to dig deeper into this person to see if I could, because usually, you know, in part two of the reading, and I will be implementing that in the next two weeks. I'm just doing some tweaks to the website, guys. Um, yeah, there's been some technical issues there, but enough of that. But usually into part two, we would move into where this moves to next so we can kind of get an idea on the intention of this person or just in terms of what they're expecting. We know they're expecting some, or they would like something, but what? Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. All right. So they're wanting to take a risk on this. They're wanting the solution to this, this dynamic that you both have going on here. So they're wanting to take a risk on this. Um, something that they've built a foundation with. So you guys have gotten close, clearly. Otherwise, that would have never have happened. Um, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles, though. And we've got the Eight. So this talks about fulfillment on a tangible level. You know, relationship, home, um, marriage, that type of thing. Tangible, living in together, exclusivity. And we got the A, so looking to work on it. So this person is going to come forward with some form of, or at least attempt to, you know, develop or establish something with you. You're not going to be, you're not going to, you're not going to take them up on their off. Well, we're not sure what you're going to do, but we know we want to do, which is the ending which we spoke about so um yeah so this is an interesting one i want to see if i can get an idea on yeah i kind of want to pull what's not there so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity based on where this person stands and where this connection and relationship stand currently like i said this person and i'm going to repeat myself they do want something but it's what they're wanting and to you know are they going to end this so you know what are we looking to do here so just expect this person to start moving towards you in a way, you know. So hopefully this is giving us a form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I should see you next week.